Hello everybody, welcome back and again, thank you so much for joining me. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the optimal ways to mine using both the prospector as well as the new hand mining tool that we got in 3.7. So basically, there's there's five main points that we need to look at when we're trying to um, you know optimize mining. Um, so the first thing is, of course, you know you're using the right tools. Um, for now, <laughs> there aren't really many different ways to mine, so um, we only have really two ways. Uh, so number one, you're definitely going to want to have a prospector. And number two, you're definitely going to want to get uh, a multi-tool uh, with the ore mining attachment to it because we're going to be using both of these together in order to maximize our, our time actually mining. Uh, the next one you have to look at is, is risk, of course. Um, you know, risk means, um, especially for mining, uh, if you die, you lose pretty much everything. Uh, like if your prospector dies, that's really bad. You're probably dying with it. You lose everything. Uh, if you yourself die to blowing up, um, you know, an ore deposit by accident, that's also a loss of your entire inventory, though sometimes you can't get the prospector back. So minimizing the risk uh, is very, very important for just getting a good, uh, decent, um, you know, uh, mining rate over, over an hour. Uh, and boarding and onboarding your ship. Um, that's of course going to take up a lot of a lot of time. Uh, you have to look at the actual time it takes you to mine, and this is where skill uh, is kind of involved. Um, there's not really much of a skill ceiling at the moment for mining, but there is a little bit of that there. Though I expect most players could probably get to you know about the similar about the same level of, of uh, you know success rate uh, after just a couple of hours of practice. Uh, and then of course you have the the luck aspect to it uh, because we don't really have any any complex ways to scan right now um, so you kind of just uh, come across really good deposits as you are searching over over the uh, the land um, though it is possible to establish routes um, it just takes a lot of time and it's very difficult uh, I will give you some initial starting points though that have some good deposits and then from there you can kind of uh, go out and, and build your own routes all right, so first off, uh, expectations. So assuming that you have a decently optimized route, um, no deaths, any big bugs that would make you lose your inventory, and a decent level of skill, you should be looking at about 65,000 to 110,000 AUC per hour. It, mm, it's possible, theoretically, to get uh, about 200,000, 210,000. Um, but that would be like you have a route that is just, you know, 10 to 15 um, lumps of, of Hadonite rock all together. Basically, a perfect route would give you that. So I would say that anything over 100,000 AUC, you're doing really, really good. All right, so first off, looking at the absolutely best tools. Um, so again, we don't have any options really, but you do need to be pairing uh, the hand mining tool with the prospector. Um, and you definitely want to have a rucksack. Uh, it doesn't make a huge difference, but you do get a little bit more efficiency just having that, uh, that bigger personal inventory. And it just means you don't have to, you know, um, transfer your crystals to a mission box uh, so often. All right, so next up, uh, this is probably one of the most important things to look at. Uh, is risk, right? So you're trying to avoid dying, you're trying to avoid running into any bugs. Um, so a few tips that are gonna help you. Uh, first off, do not even bother going to caves. Um, they are super dangerous. There are so many ways that you can break your legs, um, you know, get clipped through the ground. Uh, and not to mention the fact that you have other players that are coming through as well. Um, and they're probably gonna shoot you most of the time. Uh, and you'll lose everything. So don't even look at caves. Uh, when you land your prospector um, on, on a planet, make sure that you land flat. Uh, with a prospector, if you land with a tilt to the left, uh, sometimes your ladder will put you right through the ground and then you will clip through it and you will fall to your death. That's bad. Um, when you are actually mining, uh, Hadonite or some other, uh, you know, uh, personal or FPS rock, um, 
be very, very, very careful at the end when the green bar is almost finished filling because uh, there can be sometimes some latency issues between yourself and the server where the server will actually see that you jumped into the red zone at the very end even though uh, visually on your UI you won't see that and that'll cause in some cases the rock to just explode and instant instantly kill you. Uh, unfortunately it seems that even with a very very tiny amount of overcharge um, especially if you're close to the rock, it can one-shot kill you just based on the the where the damage is put. Sometimes the, the damage from the explosion will just go straight to your head and you'll instantly die. So be very, very careful and always make sure to end your, your mining of, of a uh, FPS rock. Make sure you end it with the, uh, the bar as low as possible in the green range as possible. Just one final thing regarding risk and safety I want to talk about is um, this sort of handwriting with a prospector, you can get away from most of the areas that players are active in and you won't have any NPCs coming to, to try killing you. So in terms of just overall risk and comparing versus trading and mission running, uh, I think that, that mining um, in this way is probably the lowest risk of all of them. Um, and the only thing that you really have to be careful about is, again, those server crashes and things that you can't really avoid. Now, uh, this brings me to where you want to actually be doing uh, your mining uh, with both the prospector and, and your hand tool. So basically, right now, uh, any asteroid field or planet is probably the best way to go, just in terms of general, you know, in general, uh, reducing risk. But um, Daymar right now is is definitely the best in terms of you know other other parts that I'll kind of cover later. All right, so the next thing to look at is of course ship travel times uh, and and the time it takes you to actually sell your minerals. So generally, uh, because this is completely dead time you want to be minimizing it as much as possible. And the way we do that is to put more effort into hand mining, uh, into getting Hadonite, compared to using the prospector for things like gold or titanium or, or whatever. So if you look at um, other mining guides, a lot of them will say uh, that, you know, over a certain percentage, even mining gold and titanium, this sort of thing is okay. But um, with 3.7, it's not really like that anymore. If you want to mine optimally and get as much out of your time as possible, you're going to want to spend about you know 70 to 80 percent of your time just mining hadonite uh, on the surface, uh, at least for Daymar. I mean, if you're trying this on a different planet, I'm you know it's going to be a little bit different. But in general, because you can just get large amounts of hadonite and just put it into mission boxes um, over in your prospector, you can you could go you know, 10 hours without having to sell, um, you know, your Hadonite. You could just keep stacking up mission boxes in the prospector and then just sell it all at once. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that. But so in generally, in general, if you find something really good uh, in terms of prospector mining, like a 5% a plus Terranite uh, deposit or, you know, something like that, then go for it. Um, but don't worry too much about filling up your prospector. It's going to be much better just looking for those Hadonite deposits uh, and especially, you know, getting a, a route together that focuses on just mining Hadonite. All right, so actually looking at the action of mining, um, it's a little bit strange, but um, in, in terms of success rate and the amount of time it takes you to actually mine a deposit it's going to be pretty similar for most people there's not really a lot of skill involved right now um you know after a couple of hours practice i expect that most people should be able to uh, mine at around the same level and mining itself um it actually takes more time than you'd expect it takes about about 40 seconds or so give or take a couple of seconds to to crack a hadonite uh deposit and then you'll spend maybe about a minute getting back into your ship and flying to the next one. Uh, but out of that 40 seconds of mining, only the very end requires skill, right? So you've got about 80% of time just waiting for, uh, you know, the the, uh, the deposit to heat up with your, your mining laser, right? You're waiting. Uh, you finally get to the green zone and then, then you have a little bit of, of skill involved, right? You have to keep it in there. But... You can always drop it down if you get into the red. You can just wait for a couple of seconds. And so, you know, it, it's really difficult to kill yourself unless you're being really loose. So 
yeah, just in terms of mining rate and success time, don't worry too much about it. There's not much we can do. And there's, of course, you know, there's no other equipment we can use either, so. All right, so finally, and probably one of the most important things uh, is actually finding those really high density clusters, especially of Hadonite on Daymar, um, and then creating a route from them. Though I will say that there is a lot of luck involved because the spawning of these clusters, at least from what I've seen, it doesn't seem to follow the geography of the planet at all. It's more randomized. And so because it's randomized, even if you have a route, you're still going to have to have that trade-off of the flying time and the traveling time between the larger high density clusters. And in some case, uh, in some cases, that travel time might actually cause your route to be less effective than just going to every Hadonite deposit you see and just you know getting a lot of mining time in that way. Um, so, but in terms of of areas. Uh, there's two main areas that I think you should start from. Uh, these are really, really high quality, high, high density of, of Hadonite and, and some uh, Terranite uh, locations. And then you can just go in any direction from here and then kind of discover your own. So the first one, I'll just put it up here. Uh, the first one is near Tamdon, uh, Tamdon Plains Aid Shelter. And so you're going to find a, uh, a really, really amazing Terranite roid here. It's like a 14% and it's a huge, huge deposit. Uh, and then there's also a few triple Hadonite deposits around it that should be within scanning distance. So you just hit that and then from there you can go south or west, whatever. Uh, but you are going to want to get away from Tamdom because you do have that, that slight risk of players actually warping in and seeing you, right? Uh, the second one, uh, it's uh, right beside Shubin Mining Facility. And again, Daymar, right? This is all on Daymar. This is where all the best uh, deposits are uh, for, the, for the time being. Um, so this is going to be a five times uh, Hadonite deposit. And it also has about three or four uh, triple deposits nearby. So you could probably fill a full backpack just going to this one location, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, so if you just want to get a quick, you know, bit of, of, uh, of money, uh, you know, just go to this location, do the hand night and just get back to all this art if you don't have very much time. Um, otherwise, you could, you know, go out and make your own route starting from this location. I would suggest going southeast. Uh, I've had some really good success just going straight southeast from there. Um, it seems that the Hadonite deposits are a pretty high density just around this area in general. All right. Uh, and then finally, just something I want to quickly talk about. Uh, can you actually get more AUEC per hour by grouping up or doing anything else? Uh, and unfortunately, the answer currently is no. Uh, even if you have someone dedicated to scanning and then someone else dedicated to picking things up, um, there's just too much blind luck that is currently involved um, in finding the, the good high density uh, clusters. So even if you have a guy who's out there just scanning things, um, it, it would be better to just have him in a prospector in a different area and just doing his own thing anyways. And then of course, there's, there's no real deposits that would require more than one person. Um, to effectively, you know, just clean out the deposit anyways. And so there's not really any possibility of, of group play giving you a more uh, optimal, uh, you know, mining session. Yeah, just some closing thoughts, a summary. Um, hand mining, uh, it's best right now on Daymar, uh, aiming for those Hadonite deposits. And then of course, Terranite, when you pair it with a prospector. Um, for now, you know, just stay away from caves. Um, prospector is actually required because you need to be able to, of course, uh, you know, search for and find those deposits in the first place. And then in terms of just overall, you know, how much you're making with this, this method of, of AUEC, um, you know, uh, gathering, I think it compares very favorably to trading and mission running. And because of the very low risk of doing it, I think that this might be the best way currently to make AUEC uh, in the verse, unless you are on a server that is off peak hours and there aren't a lot of players playing. Uh, in that case, of course, trading is going to be better because you don't have to worry about that risk of being destroyed or you know being pirated or whatever. Um, but yeah, just a very, very solid way to bootstrap, 
bootstrap yourself into uh, you know better ships and into getting uh, your your own little fleet going. All right, so thank you again so much for watching. Um, if you have any ideas on how I can improve these videos, uh, you know, make them more valuable to you or maybe uh, better content, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, you know, I'm just putting these out because I enjoy making them and I kind of learn something as I do them anyways. So uh, yeah, hope you have a really great day and uh, hope to see you again.